Hey everyone, okay, so I made a post on the PlannerCon site about a packing list as far as supplies and what I'm going to be taking with me to San Francisco um, for just to have for my workshops and then the planner night. But I wanted to kind of quickly go through and show you what I'm using to pack and what I actually put in here that way. Hopefully it'll help you out a little bit. Um, I'm using the Happy Planner um, planner bag. It's just a gold one. Got it at Hobby Lobby. And I just have a puff here to be able to tell it's mine in case someone else may have it. Um, let's see. In the first side. Sorry, I don't want to get in your way too much. We'll open this up. As you can see here, I have this watercolor set. I don't want to pull it out. It's a little tight, but... Um, that's crepe paper. I got it at the ATX retreat, um, this past one. And I just have some paper towels behind it. And then in there as well, I'm going to be taking some rulers. I have this folding, um, just 12 inch ruler I got on clearance at Target. I think by, after the back to school time. Um, as far as adhesive, I have a Prima Planet glue pen. Just this Elmer's glue and then just some masking tape in case I need it and I believe that's it let's see so we're just gonna slide that I kind of want to it's already been packed but I took it out just to kind of show you um actually I may not take the glue so we're gonna take the glue out I may not take that one because I know I have adhesive around here um a single hole punch I got this one for a dollar at Walmart and I took the back off just because I want to see where I'm punching but it really works through like um, lamination and everything some extra zinc paper I'm actually taking three packs just another ruler this is a fused one but I like the straight line here hoping that'll help me just a ruler I got that just has some cute stencils I don't know just that'll be fun these Fisker scissors, I got these at Joann's. They are TSA approved, um, so they're safe if I want to take this as a carry-on. A bone folder, just in case I may need that, in case I want to make some um, folders or anything. And then as far as my Polaroid zip, I just have it in a Kate Spade dust bag. And this little sticker on it, um, I got from the Happy Planner sticker book. So, that is what is on that side. This side, sorry if I hit the camera. I have some paper clips. These are just some extras I got for a project. And I added some decorative clips in there as well. I just kept them in their bag because it keeps it organized. I have this Erin Condren pouch. And then inside that, let's see, I won't go through all of them, but just to kind of give you an idea. I have these two dashboards and a top loading envelope for my personal planner in case I need those. Or in case I decide I want to use them. Just some date stickers from Erin Condren. And then as far as stickers, I just have some like trackers, some samples I got. Um... Some color coding label stickers that I made to fit the Peanuts Planner Co. inserts. A theme kit in here. And then just some other decorative basic color coding ones that um, I made with just some markers. And then these are the clear pockets that I got from the Target dollar spot. So that goes in there. And then there's still room in case I buy more stickers at PlannerCon. So in this pouch, I believe it's a Martha Stewart one. I got it from, I think, Staples. Um, I just have some blank, just list pad sheets, some sticky notes, some blank Project Life cards, and then just some decorative Project Life cards, because I will be taking my memory planner with me, so I wanted to add those in there. And then in this pocket, let's see, I have some Me and My Big Idea stickers. Just some that I thought I may want. This is from the seasonal pack that I'm hopefully going to use. And then I also brought the Color Story um, newest one that they just came out with at Michaels. And I have my... 
happy planner if I can pull this out. Sorry, it's a little harder doing everything on camera. Okay, there you go. And this is just my happy planner used for memory keeping. Let's see if I can show you kind of an idea of what I... So here's an example. And then I'll add um, a photo sleeve in because I want to add some bigger photos in here. But just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Let's see. On the other side of the bag... I'm trying to not make this too long, but let's see. Just on this side, I have a Erin Condren spiral, or sorry, notebook. And this I wanted to use as just to jot down notes throughout the workshops. And then I also bought it as a project planner, so in case I want to sketch out ideas or anything, um, I have that. This particular bag, let's see, it Velcro, so I can easily just take this and pull it off to the side with me. I don't want to go through every pen I have, but just to kind of give you an idea, I have some Tombow markers. I'm taking a lettering workshop, so I got those. Um, some friction markers, and I know I had a, I can't remember if I showed you, I have a friction pen in the other pocket. Um, I have some gel highlighters, I think in like four different colors. Let's see, over here, I have a Micron pen. A paper mate flare pen, a Signo Uni Ball. There's a few pens in here that I want to show you in particular. Let's see. This Jelly Row Clear Star. If you write this on top of like any marker or pen, it makes it kind of look glittery it's like a gel pen. It's super pretty. And let's see. I have this. Oops. Recollections. Masking pen. This is for watercoloring. I want to try it out. So I figured for the dividers workshop with Prima, I could try it there. Um, and I think, oh, and then just some water brush pens and stuff like that. So I want to say that's most of what, and I have like Sharpies and all that, of course. I need to add a pencil in here, but everything else should be good. And... This particular one, same thing, I'm taking a stamping workshop, so I wanted to just be able to have this and not worry about anything else. So this just holds, I took these two Happy Planner Deco pens. I have the striped and the pink scalloped in there, just because I thought they were a little more versatile. A date stamp or roller stamp, sorry, I believe this one is... I think Amy Tangerine, it's an older one. I believe that's it. I may be wrong on this one. I'll have to check. But I um, I got this idea at Tuesday morning or something like that. This one, I believe I got this one in a Target dollar spot. I just liked it because it has like a to-do, an arrow, some hearts. So, got that. Oh, here's my adhesive that was supposed to go in the other pocket. I have some clear acrylic blocks in there, this sticky note masking tape, I have three inks, I don't want to have to pull them out, just all memento pink, gray, and black, and then as you can see, I just have some various planner stamps in there. But that is about it, that's everything that I'm taking, as you can see, it all fits pretty easily, like I shouldn't need to take anything else I may actually use this as my carry-on and I'll have to worry about anything but and then I didn't want to have anything too bulky so while I'm walking on a planner con um, I wasn't wasn't gonna get too like bothered by it but if you have any questions about something in here in particular if you need any help just let me know bye thanks